freestyle drill. You may have done it before, but I'm gonna go into uh, a little more depth, okay? And then if you haven't done it before and you are you know, newer to taking my classes, then I'm gonna also explain it. So whether you've done it or you haven't, you will still get the most out of this video if you practice. Okay, so we're gonna pick a song. You can do it along with my song that I choose, but then you also can do this with any song. Slow, fast, instrumental, lyrics, whatever floats your boat, okay? So you are, this is the shapes game. Since this week is all about shapes, kind of building off last week's uh, theme, which was creativity. So this week, pick a shape. I'm gonna pick circle, okay? Now you're gonna take your shape and find all the different ways that you can dance with that shape. Now you don't wanna get too like specific, I guess. Allow yourself to kind of just move within that shape. So what I'm talking about is a circle. We could do this, right? Easy, draw it on both hands, piece of cake. But what can our body do with a circle? Oh, it goes all the way around. Oh, it can spin. Oh, I can pretend like I'm in the rodeo. Uh, oh, I can turn. I can turn for all the jazz dancers, ballet dancers. Don't judge my form. Um, you can have your head roll around, your chest roll around, shoulders roll around. Wow, shoulders roll around, arms roll around. Does that make sense? I really hope it makes sense. So that's examples for a circle. Maybe a square, we could be like, boom, 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 boom. You can draw it, of course, easy peasy. You can, so for this one, you can think more like, okay, square, there's a lot of angles, right? Now you don't always have to draw a full square. So I can be like, boom, boom. And that still is coming off of the square vibe because it had a sharp corner. Yeah, so I could be like, boom, da, da. And then I have a sharp corner here. Yeah, uh, you can, you can do like step, 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 step. I just stepped in all the corners of a square on the ground. Yeah, another example is we could go boom, 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 boom. That's been in some choreography we've done. Uh, yeah, so the the options are endless. That makes sense. So we're gonna do a song. I'm gonna pick circle. So then, you know, if you're choosing circle, you can have this as an example if you've never done this before, or if you wanna explore different shapes, you have all the shapes in the world, and you can do this with any shape, okay? So here we go. <laughs>
disclaimer, I've done this drill many times before. So if you're watching and you're like, oh my gosh, it looks so easy, or you're dancing and you're like, my movement feels ugly or it feels silly. If it feels ugly and silly, you're doing it correct because what that means is you are trying to get out of your comfort zone. There's things I just did that I'm sure if I watched back, I'm not gonna like, yeah? But I created new movement for my body instead of doing like the same things all the time. That is the objective here. So don't forget that. And don't compare yourself to me because I've been doing this for a really long time. This might be your very first time. So again, go really slow, slow. I tried to do some slow parts in there so you can see that I was processing and trying to find new places. The more you practice it, the easier it'll be and you could just be like circle, circle, circle. Check me out, woo, I'm spinning, yeah? Okay, I hope this helps. Again, as always, if you have questions, ask me in our virtual class and I will see you there. Have an amazing day.